Hi, 6th graders! It's me again, Ma'am Ross, your science teacher in Whitey. Welcome to our first lesson in science for second quarter. So, let's work together. Do our best to learn as much as we can. Let's have fun. Let's dance as we explore the amazing world of science. Let's do this! Our quarter two, week one topic is about musculoskeletal system taken from 5.4a learner's material. And here are our specific topics. Skeletal system is the framework of the body. It is composed of bones, bone marrow, joints, cartilage, and ligaments. The bones support and give shape to the body. So the shape of our body is caused by our bones. The bone marrow produces the red blood cells. So look at the illustration. The red blood cells are being produced and made inside the bone marrow. The joint is a place where two bones meet, as in our elbow. This is the place where the two bones meet. Meanwhile, the cartilage covers the bones with the fluid to make the movement easier. Look at this video. There is a fluid that makes the movement easier. And we have the ligaments, which are connective tissues that hold the joints together. The red portion of this bone is called the ligaments. The musculoskeletal system has parts. The first one is a skull. Skull is a part that encloses the brain. And this part is the cranium. The cranium is the part that encloses our brain. And aside from cranium, we have the face. This is the part that protects our face. We have also the clavicle or the collarbone. You can touch your collarbone. We have the scapula, the sternum on our at the center of our ribs. And of course, we have the ribs and number six, humerus. Humerus is the part of our arm. You can touch your bones now, okay? And let's proceed with the number seven. We have the vertebrae or the vertebra. The singular form is vertebrae. And if we're going to put them together, we will call it the vertebra. You can touch your spinal cord and you can feel the different vertebrae or vertebra at your back. Aside from this, we have also the coxal bone or the hip bone. This is very easy to identify because you can touch your hips. You have two pair uh, or one pair of hips. We have the right part and the left part. And you have there your hip bones. Okay? And aside from that, we have number nine, the ulna, the radius, the carpal or the wrist bones, the metacarpal bones, and the phalanges. These are the parts of the skeletal system found in our arms going down to our fingers. I 
identify your ulna, radius, carpal, and metacarpal, and of course, the phalanges. And we have also the femur, patella, tibia, and fibula. Going down to our fingers or at the, our toes, we have there, okay? So, we also have functions of the musculoskeletal system, and let us discuss this one by one. The musculoskeletal system is like a frame. This is the frame of our body. And it functions as... First, we have... It gives your body shape and support. You sit down, you stand up, and it's because of the support of our skeletal system. And it also protects some vital parts or internal organs of your body. Example, our brain, it is being protected by our skull. Our lungs are being protected by our rib cage, And of course, our internal organs like the stomach, intestine, they are being protected by our hip bone. So these are the internal organs being protected by the skeletal system. Let's proceed with number three, rock and roll, grade six. It enables the body to make different movements. So we can dance like this. Go. Turn around. And dance. Okay, so... It, the skeletal system enables us to make different movements like this and that, this and that. Can you do that? Number four, it supports the teeth and gums, enabling us to bite and chew our food. So, our jaw bones protect this and support our teeth. And fifth, it holds our head and body straight. We can stand up straight. We can, we can sit down straight because of our bones. Did you know that there are 26 separate bones called the vertebrae with this made of cartilage? So this picture shows the different bones called the vertebrae. So these 26 separate bones or vertebrae has a disc made of cartilage like this. There are cervicals, thoracic, lumbar, sacrum, and coccyx. These are the names of our vertebrae. And number six, it produces the blood for the body. So this video shows how the red blood cells or the blood produced by our bones. Take a glimpse at this. You see that? This is how our bones produce blood. And number seven, it stores minerals. You see that? All our bones stores minerals. And I'm going to show you the differences or the uh, between the bones or the bone minerals among the males and the bone minerals among the females. Now, take a look at this illustration. These are the bone mineral content. Humans are born with over 300 bones. However, many bones fuse together between birth and maturity. As a result, an average adult skeleton consists of how many? Yes, 206 bones to be exact. There are classifications of bones. We have the long bones, we have the short bones, and 
we also have the flat bones. Not only that, we have the irregular bones and of course, the last one, the sesamoid bones from the word sesame. All right. And the division of skeleton are first actual skeleton which starts with the skull, laryngeal skeleton, and of course we have the vertebral column at the back and the thoracic cage. And this is also called the upper skeleton or the actual skeleton. And aside from this, we have the appendicular skeleton which are the shoulder girdle, the upper limbs, the pelvic girdle, and of course, the lower limbs included are the bones at our feet. So, these are the divisions of the skeleton. So, we are done with our lesson and I'm sure you are ready with our learning task. If you are ready, now get your pen, your answer, your answer sheet, your notebook. So let us do, let us do this. Learning task one: As you start exploring the subject, answer the following questions. Write your answers on your answer sheet. You may ask for the assistance of your parents, your guardians, and you may research on the answers. So this is a crossword puzzle wherein you're going to identify what is being described, write your answer or answers across. Number two, filter and eliminates liquid waste, regulates water balance. Three, enables gas exchange with the blood. Five, enables movement, maintains posture, and can store energy. Nine, senses external environment and communicates with and activates other parts of the body. And then ten, produces gametes and supports development. And for the down portion, just answer this. Number one, allows ingestion and breaks down food so that nutrients can be absorbed. Four, provides mechanical support, stores minerals, and produces red blood cells. Six, protects the body's internal environment and stores fat. Seven, enables the transport of nutrients, gases, waste to and from cells. Eight, secretes hormones into the bloodstream. So for the learning test, to use the word below or on the next slide to identify the parts of the skeleton. Write your answers on your answer sheet. So for this part, all you have to do is to identify the parts. So after this page, you will be having the bone vocabulary. So starting from the skull up to or down to the metacarpals or the hand bones. Okay, so let's go. These are the bone vocabulary words skull femur or upper leg bone shoulder joint rib cage patella or kneecap spine clavicle or collarbone pelvis metatarsals fibula tibia humerus radius ulna and metacarpals and for learning task 3 match the parts of the skeletal system in column a with the functions in column b so i'll be giving you the columns the parts of the skeletal system, which are the skull, spinal column, bones, hinge, joint, and the ball and socket. And for column B, we have the description or the functions. The inner layer of the bone that contains yellowish substance with manufactured blood cells in the body protects the spinal cord, a rigid case that protects the brain, allows movement in all directions, and allows movement in one direction. Now, all you have to do is to write the letter of the correct Okay? Good luck, everyone! All right, so the answer key will be posted on our next video. Please 
be updated on this channel so you will be guided with the answer key that I'll be giving you next time, okay? So, if you have any questions, just comment down on the comment section below. Thank you so much for your time in watching and listening in this topic. To be updated, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell, okay?